Here we're given the problem of finding the tension in three separate cables for a bird feeder. We're given theta 1 and theta 2 as 60 degrees and 30 degrees respectively, and 150 newtons for the weight of the bird feeder. We've separated our free body diagram into an x and y component. Now we went back into the x and y component chart and just plugged in numbers for theta as well as in for T3. T3 is easy to solve because the weight of the bird feeder is given to us already as 150 newtons. It's a tension because the force is only acting in the y direction, so we don't have to do anything else with it. Now, here are the two equations that we're going to need to solve for the sum of the forces in the x direction and the sum of the forces in the y direction for T1 and T2. Now, we plugged in our theta for T1 and our T2, as well as added numerical numbers for our T3. Now we solve for T2 in terms of T1. We have T2 cosine 30 minus T1 cosine 60 equals 0. We add T1 cosine 60 to both sides and divide by cosine 30 to get T2 by itself. We end up with T2 equals 0.577 T1. Next, we use substitution to plug in our new T2 into the sum of the forces in the y direction equation. Now we factor out our T1 and get this equation. And then we solve, and T1 equals 600.4. Next, we plug in the new T1 into the new T2 in terms of T1 equation. We get T2 equals 0.577 times 600.4. We solve it, and T2 equals 346.4. We just solved for T1 and T2, and T3 is mass times gravity. So T1 equals 600.4 newtons, T2 equals 346.4 newtons, and T3 equals 150 newtons. This is the answer to the problem of finding the tension in all three strings.